Hello friends, let's discuss current affairs. Today's first question relates to the new development bank which started as the BRICS bank. It was started by the BRICS grouping which comprises five nations, um, Brazil, Ra Russia, India and China, uh, India, China and South Africa. These five nations um, started in their own venture, the new development bank, but this was previously called, the NDB was previously and initially called uh, the BRICS Bank. It has its head office in Shanghai, which as you know is the biggest city in uh, China, also its financial capital and it's currently the BRICS grouping, sorry, the new development bank is headed by Dilma Rousseff, Dilma Rousseff. So the new development bank is headquartered in Shanghai and uh, you know, it's headed by Dilma Rousseff, who, if you recall, is a former president of Brazil. Former president of Brazil. Now, over the years, apart from the five and the four have come in as members, this would be, see, okay, let's first look at the, in the map, uh, you know, this is Brazil, okay. Uh, this is South Africa, the Republic of South Africa, RSA, then India, China, and Russia. So this is the map that is not exactly shown to be, you know, it's not right in terms of the territorial extent of India because some part of JNK, Ladakh and JNK have been, you know, are been shown in this map as part of Pakistan, but as we know, they are our territory. But this is a map that's internationally accepted. I'm so sorry for this, but yeah, I do not have a map that showcases these nations, BRICS nations, in a map manufactured by Indians. Okay, um, five nations, uh, these are the five nations and then we have Uruguay. Okay, Egypt, four have come in. Uruguay, Egypt, you can see here, the United Arab Emirates, United Arab Emirates and this ladies and gentlemen is Bangladesh. So, in total nine nations the new development bank has nine members okay to bring in something additional ladies and gentlemen let's look at the capitals uh, pakistan's capital as we know is islamabad because uh, i see i do not want to add to the burden of discussing the names of the leaders of these countries um, indonesia the capital is jakarta this is uh, current capital the new i mean proposed capital is uh, Nusantara, Nusantara on the island of Borneo in a region called Kalimantan. This is where it's going to be. It's here. This is the island of Borneo. This is where the red dot is. That's where going Nusantara is. Okay. Nigeria's capital is Abuja. Egypt, Cairo or Cairo. Afghanistan, as we all know, is ruled from, technically ruled from Kabul, but originally from Kandahar, because Kandahar is a place where the leader of the Taliban, Hibatullah Akhun Jada, you know, resides. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are the nine, you know, members of the new Durban Bank. Fair? Formula One driver Sergio Perez won the 2023 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix from pole position. Sergio Perez represents uh, Red Bull Racing. Red Bull Racing. You know, Perez is a Mexican. He is from Mexico. He started, um, you know, he became famous in India as the lead driver in the Force India Formula One team that was started by, and you know, that was owned once by Vijay Malia and the other time by Subhata Roy. So, you know, uh, Perez holds one unique record. He has had most number of races without a win. Before his first win, that is the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix this year in March 2023, okay. Uh, he's never won a race, even though he started racing Formula One racing in 2011. See, this is the kind of persistence, determination, patience, you know, this is the kind of, you know, um, hard work people put, you know, we need to put in to build a better future. We may not succeed at first, but if we keep trying, eventually we'll get there. So Perez is a good, um, you know, example in demonstrating these traits. So Perez, 
you know, has had, uh, had participated in most races, you know, um, before his first win. Most races, 215, 215 races, my friends. Think about it. Yeah. You know, Red Bull Racing is also um, famous for one more thing, driver. Perez has a teammate, Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. This is how we spell his name. Max Verstappen is from Netherlands. He is a Dutch. Okay. He drives for Red Bull Racing. Now, he is also he is the 2021 and 2022 Formula One World Champion. Formula One World Champion. So, even now for this season also he's you know he's leading. So that's about it, my friends. Okay. See, when you look at this Ferrari, it's owned by a group called XR, which also owns um, Jeep, Fiat, because they're all owned by one company called Stellantis, but Stellantis is owned by XR, and uh, it also owns Citrion, you must be familiar with this. Hmm? So it owns a brand like Alfa Romeo. Um, I want you to know one more thing that uh, the chairperson of XR is Ajay Banga. Ajay Banga. Ajay Banga, as you know, is a former CEO of MasterCard and also the World Bank, you know, a nominee from the United States, World Bank presidential nominee from the United States. And historically, the U.S. has had a right uh, to appoint the president of the United uh, president of the World Bank Group. Uh, see, at the end of the Second World War in 1945, um, and during the Bretton Woods Conference of July 1944, it was decided that two world bodies would be created. One would be the World Bank Group, the other would be the you know uh, International Monetary Fund, which you know. Um, was to be headed by a European and the, while the World Bank group was to be headed by an American. This was more or less unsaid but written, uh, unwritten, unsaid but more or less the norm. It became a norm that the World Bank chief would always be an American while you know the International Monetary Fund would be headed by a European. So if you look at the names of all the leaders of the all the presidents of the EU, World Bank group, you would know that they are all, you know, they all have been, um, um, they all have been Americans. Yeah. So, ah, one more thing. Whenever you see Ferrari logo, that horse standing up and, you know, uh, that's called the prancing horse. P R A N C I N G. That's the logo of Ferrari. Prancing horse. Prancing horse. So the following became the oldest ATP Masters. ATP is Association of Tennis Professionals. Who among the following became the oldest Association of Tennis Professionals Masters Thousand Champion when he and his Australian partner Matt, Matt Abden. Claimed the men's doubles crown at the BNP Paribas and the S is silent. BNP Paribas Open. This BNP Paribas is also called Indian Wells. Indian Wells, which is a place, you know, in the case in the state of California in the US. California, US. Okay. Now, at this, this tournament was won by the, 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 Doubles championship was won by Abden and Bopanna. Bopanna has become the oldest. What's his age? 43, my friends. At the age of 43, he has won a Masters Top 1000 title. And also, please remember that, you know, um, okay, one more thing. He beat the record of Daniel Nestor. So he overtook Daniel Nestor to become the world's oldest uh, ATB Masters 1000 Champion. Okay. Yeah. 
fair one more thing i would like to tell you here is this that um, the winner of the singles championship you could write this if you, if you are curious i normally focus on the singles champions men's singles men's singles champion men's singles champion should we be discussing this actually i am not very certain if we could be we should be discussing this but anyway chalo let's write there's no harm in writing since i started men's singles singles champion carlos alcaraz carlos alcaraz okay he is from spain men's singles champion carlos alcaraz next women's singles champion elena raibakina raibakina and where is she from kazakhstan kazakhstan hmm okay there we go with which nation did india recently agree to formulate a modality to supply electricity to the indian states via bihar nepal in winter months has surplus electricity and that ladies and gentlemen is sold to india okay um a lot of indian states are power deficient so they buy electricity and uh, the electricity from nepal is sent to the central electricity grid in india from where it is sent to different states which buy it, you know which by this electricity so i just bring to you a little about this two countries uh, nepal the prime minister is prachanda or pushpakamal dahal pushpakamal dahal laos oh we'll dis discuss laos laos is important vian shen is a capital it's a country in east asia you have cambodia right above cambodia to the west of vietnam you would find laos the capital is vientiane or vientiane and the president it's a communist country uh, it's a single party state like china and the president is also the chief of the communist party there tong lun sisulit Tonglun Sisolit. Okay. Tonglun Sisolit. So um, where do we go? I guess that should be fine. Oh, would you like to know the capital, the the currency of this place? Kip. Nice word, isn't it? Kip. let's go from here yeah these days myanmar is in news for all the wrong reasons ladies and gentlemen right wrong hardly matter these days yeah the capital of myanmar is naypyi taw the president is min yeah uh, min ong min ong liang this is not exactly the president he is the leader of the military junta it is pronounced with an h the j is pronounced with an h junta okay who were the following persons who selected for the sangeeta kalanidhi award the music academy for 2023 that is bombay jayashree you know a multi you know versatile singer carnatic vocalist um, she has received multiple awards including the padma shri in 2021 Okay, so I barely have much to discuss here. Who among the following claimed the men's and women's singles title at the All England Bad Open Badminton Championships? 
there we go those are the names my friends and i want you to write something beyond this uh this is write this title this is very important to the exam point of view okay so men's winner men's singles lee shi feng china women's singles on say young it's already mentioned here south korea south korea next since we are looking at two more categories men's doubles and women's doubles winners you write this men's doubles i am giving the names only the winners okay right fazar alfiam okay let me spell fazar alfian and mohammad what is his name riyan mohammad riyan both are from indonesia the world's most populous muslim country Men's doubles. Let's look at women's doubles. These are the names here? No, 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 no names are here. Right. Kim. So, Young. Kim So Young. And. his name king i always forget this they are very tricky names very very tricky names kim he young of actually to know that the two kims you could say hmm women's doubles winners kim so young and kim he young now where was this championship held this was held in England of course the name says that in the town of in the city of Birmingham the city of Birmingham with which nation did india participate in the bilateral exercise named exercise al muhid al hindi saudi arabia this is it okay it's a pretty large country you can see there you know this region in saudi arabia is called empty quarter empty quarter nothing lives here nothing this is more or less um we could also look at one more qatar had their military exercise with the indian forces zair al bahar with the united arab emirates we have had desert flag desert flag see this is the red sea this is and the artificial canal where it was you know the suez canal which connected the mediterranean with the red sea others ships had to go all you know they had to go through instead of now they go through like this yeah they come to the mediterranean i'm just this a rough image earlier they had to go like this to europe all the stuff so in 1867 69 the suez canal was built by striking a line digging digging a canal and connecting the mediterranean sea with the red sea okay now any place that i could discuss jordan yes this is jordan the capital is amman it's already mentioned there so i'll mention the name of the raja king abdullah the second king abdullah the second 
Kuwait, Kuwait city. This is Kuwait and um, Nawaf Al Sabar Al Ahmad Al Saba. So I'll just write Nawaf Al Saba. The United Arab Emirates is headed by its capital is Abu Dhabi and it's headed by Muhammad bin Zayed. Muhammad bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Okay. The 2023 global millets, which now millets are now being called Sri Anna, okay, uh, conference was held in New Delhi. New Delhi. 2023 is a UN, you know, global millet, UN year of the millet. Even the government of India is putting a lot of emphasis on growing millets because when millets are healthy, too, they can diversify the crop thing away from, they can move the farmer away from rice and wheat into growing something that is much more nutritious and less harmful to the body. Okay, uh, just to bring in something extra. Bangalore is home to the Indian Institute of Science. The Center for DNA Fingerprinting and Center for DNA and fingerprint DNA fingerprinting and diagnostics okay Chennai structural engineers research institute structural engineering research institute Pune National Institute of Virology Center for DNA Fingerprinting and Diagnostics Hyderabad Center for DNA Fingerprinting DNA and Fingerprinting and Diagnostics okay. Who over to Virat Kohli to emerge as India's most valued celebrity of 2022 with a bank value of 1500 crore when we sing see these are all subjective they change almost every month see if um, Virat Kohli plays exceptionally well in the IPL his brand value will go up again so it's these are all things that could be that could change overnight actually okay at one point it was Shah Rukh Khan who was the most um, who was who was the number one you know brand ambassador then came of course Akshay Kumar but then these things keep moving you know, keep they are like day to day kind of thing yeah Identify the correct statements about the UN 2023 Water Conference. Now, Water Conference is typically held around, uh, you know, March in the last week of, uh, after 20, you, know, you could see the last week of March actually, second fortnight of March, because uh, March 22nd is World Water Day. World Water Day. Okay. Government of the Tajikistan and Netherlands uh, monarchy are the, uh, the I would say sponsors of this event. Tajikistan is run by a guy called Imam Ali Rahman, that's the president. Netherlands, while it has a parliament, what we say they have a, a, a monarch, they have the monarch as the head of the country. So the prime minister is a guy called Mark Hati. Mark Hati. Yeah. And what are the themes? What were the themes of the you could World Water Conference 2023? There are five themes. I'll just give you two. Okay. Water for health. Water for health. And water for sustainable development. Water for health and water for sustainable development. Okay, next. I think that should be fine here. Yeah. See, there is another theme called water for cooperation. Water for cooperation. Then there is water action decade. So there are four we got actually, isn't it? Yeah. As per the 10th 
Global Terrorism Index report 2023, which country remained the most impacted by terrorism for the fourth consecutive year, despite attacks and deaths falling by about 75 and 80, 85 percent respectively. Hmm. You could say, look at Afghanistan because things have not changed for good in Afghanistan, even though the Taliban had come in you know in in 2021 15th august it came to kabul victorious of course it has things haven't moved well in this country my friends so there is a lot of violence ongoing violence especially perpetrated by the hardcore sunni radical group named um, islamic state actually yeah this is islamic state khorasan khorasan is afghanistan and all that area okay so um, if you want to write five nations, the names of five nations which have been adversely impacted by global terrorism, you could write this. Yeah, global terrorism index. Underline that first one. Most impacted is Afghanistan. It's mentioned there. Afghanistan. That's one. Two, a country in Africa called Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Okay. Next. Three. Somalia. So this is a country that's devastated by a terrorist group called Al Shabaab. Al Shabaab, the youth actually. Okay. Number four, Mali. You see this group here? Yeah. Jamaat Nusrat Al Islam Al Muslimin. Wal Muslimin. This is what you would find in Mali. Five. I think Syria. The nation of Syria. So these are the five nations deeply impacted by terrorism. What is India's rank? 13. 1, 3. India's ranks 1, 3, my friends. 13th. With states proposed a second home for the Asiatic lions at the Barda Wildlife Sanctuary, about 100 kilometers away from their away from their present home at the Gir National Park. Okay, Gujarat. What national parks would you put in Uttarakhand, Corbett National Park? which incidentally was India's first national park, first national park, originally called Haley, Haley, yeah, uh, national park. It was named after a local guy, you know, uh, Haley national park, but in nine, so it was started in 1936. Okay. But a um, few years later, Jim Corbett made it famous and of course, uh, his name has been given to the national park itself. What national park would you put in Uttarakhand, uh, sorry, Uttar Pradesh, Dudwa, Dudwa. Madhya Pradesh, you have plenty of them. One is Kanha, Bandigarh, Tadoba, Tadoba you could say Maharashtra actually. Okay, Kanha, uh, we have uh, Panna, we have um, Bandavgarh National Park in Karnataka again plenty but the most famous of all Bandipur Bandipur National Park one of the following persons was recently appointed president and managing director of the C sorry president managing director and CEO of invest India and investment promotion facilitation body Manmeet Nanda because see the previous chap Deepak Bagla was castigated, reprimanded by the Union Commerce Ministry through the CAG, Comptroller and Auditor General, who both of who claimed that he had not done much, though he claims to have done much, but he hasn't done much. Not much of a ground change has happened. Okay. So Deepak Bagla is a outgoing. Deepak Bagla. Okay. Then this is a new chief. It's a government of India body, my friends. Hmm? 
for the sixth year running which country was named the world's happiest in you know in the world uh, happiness report 2023 sponsored by the un sdg sustainable development solutions network finland see these are all unreliable rankings not rankings that you should take straightforward actually because there is a lot of subjectivity involved in this now the top three you could write world happiness report top three one finland two denmark three iceland three iceland and india's rank 126 126 see this is a stupid way of looking at it now i'll tell you why it is stupid india's rank is 126 pakistan's rank sri lanka's rank countries that are deeply vulnerable yeah where things are not going well for their people and all what is myanmar's rank can you guess what is myanmar's rank 117 a civil war hap is happening economy is deep in trouble there is nothing going well for the Myanmaris, even for Pakistanis also. Pakistanis say 108. Can you believe this? 108. Pakistan has had record inflation. There have been riots. Yet this survey says that Pakistanis are happier than India. How can people be happy if they are not eating? Yeah, if they are starving. If their loved ones are starving. But then of course they have their own methodology. Yeah. Um, I think. Myanmar, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, 112, 112, okay, to write the capitals, just the capital since we are here, Switzerland does not have a capital, okay, no capital, there are two places in the world that do not have a capital of their own, one is Switzerland, the other is the tiny country of Nauru, N-A-U-R-U, but anyway, de facto, there is one capital by law de zur there is no capital the constitution of switzerland does not provide for a capital city but does not even stop at the you know um, from government efforts to build a capital city uh, like the switzerland's um, no capital but generally the government sits in the play in a town called bern so it's considered the de facto capital of switzerland sweden's capital is stockholm Finland, Helsinki, Norway, Oslo, Denmark, Copenhagen. The book title, Bipin, uh, The Man Behind the Uniform, is written by Rachna Bisht Rabat. And who is this Bipin? General, yeah. Chief of the Defense Staff, Bipin Chandra, General Bipin Chandra, Bipin Chandra. Yeah, in December 2021, um, he met with, the, he, he, he lost his life because of, a, because of inclement weather while traveling by helicopter. Yeah, things, by the way, who is the Chief of Defense Staff of India? The Chief of the Defense Staff of India, CDS, is uh, General Anil Chahan. Anil Chahan. Anil, Anil Chahan. Which city has declared has been declared the first tourism and cultural capital of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization? Uh, Varanasi. Uh, but um, this is for 22-23. But 23-24, a new you know, cultural and tourism capital is coming up and its name is Almaty, which as you know, in Kazakhstan. In Kazakhstan, okay. So the city of Almaty has been declared the tourism and cultural capital of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization for 23-24, okay. Which of the following places in India featured in Time Magazine's 2023 list of the world's greatest, place, greatest places? Ladakh and Mayurbhanj. Now, people like us would have heard of my, Ladakh, but not of Mayurbhanj. Mayurbhanj is a tribal area in um, northwest, um, what is it? Um, Chatya, 
Orissa, okay, but uh, things are not going well. For decades, people have been neglected. Development has not come here, and today tourism is being promoted so as you know, for tribal, you know, tribal people could be understood better, and more importantly, people can relive the experience of the people living in these parts of the world. Yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Mm? There's not much to do for me to discuss. These are just places and you know, these are all subjective again, as I said. You have not heard of Mayurbhaj, but will you go there? Unlikely. Yeah. The third annual edition of the International SME Convention 2023 was held in New Delhi this year. Which of the following uh, which of the following organized this event? Okay, all of them. Who is the Minister of MSME? Narayan Ranu Tate. Narayan Ranu Tate. Sorry, Narayan Ranu Tate. Okay. How do you define a particular business unit being a micro or a small or a medium enterprise? So there are two ways of looking at it investment in plant and machinery and all that and then turnover hmm? micro small medium investment up to one crore is allowed in a business unit that could be classified as a micro unit okay the turnover shall not exceed five crore here it's 10 crore and 50 crore this is 50 crore to 250 crore. Okay. So we got a definition of MSME as well. Minister of External Affairs, well, it is uh, Subramanian Jayashankar. Subramanian Jayashankar. Burundi recently announced that the first polio outbreak in more than 30 years happened uh, in this, you know happened there the currency Burundi is this is Burundi it's a tiny country you see this very very tiny country franc it was ruled by Belgium for a long long time my friends yeah Pula is the currency of Botswana Dinar you have Iraq you have, I think, Libya as well. Hmm? You have Algeria also. Algeria. Lira, Turkey. Or Turkey. Shilling, Kenya, I think. Burundi's capital is Bujumbura. Burundi. Bujumbura. This is Burundi. You can see here. Okay. And um, President of Burundi is President. It's a single party dominant state. Every state. Irish. Ima. Hmm. Okay. So currency also has come. Hmm. Which state will host the fourth, uh, what host? It's over actually. Fourth Asian Kho Kho Championship, Assam. Tamal, Tamalpur, Assam. Tamalpur, Assam in the, in, 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 uh, it's a rural, it was a rural setting up. You know, previously, this was held in Calcutta, Indore, and then Dhaka. And um, this time around, they have held it in a local place. The winner of this was, okay, men's singles. Okay, men's and women. Winner was India. India. Runner-up was Nepal, again Nepal. Okay. 
identify the correct statements from the given below. World Water Day is celebrated on 22nd March. All of them are right, actually. We will not waste time here. Okay. So, not a question that we can spend on because everything you explicitly mentioned. Find the correct pairs uh, about the 12th Forbes India Leadership Awards. All of them are right, but I want to write AM Naik, non executive chairperson, non executive chairperson of LNT. Of LNT. Isha Ambani, Director of Reliance Retail. Reliance Retail. Abai Soy, he is the Chairman and Managing Director of Max Healthcare. Max Healthcare. Okay. There was one more. Best Startup. Best Startup. Best Startup. Zetwork. Zetwork is a manufacturing services firm, my friends. Manufacturing services firm. <laughs> See, A.M. Nayak, Anil Bani Bhai Nayak is um, considered one of India's finest entrepreneurs, finest business managers. He made LNT one of the world's biggest engineering firms. India's biggest, one of the world's biggest, my friends. Okay. <laughs> Name the second anti-submarine warfare shallow water watercraft uh, launched recently in Kolkata, Andhra. This is said to be the biggest district in Lakshadweep. Laksha V. So these kinds of you know ships would hunt submarines. They are anti-submarines, anti-subs, and they also anti-subs and they also um, you know are adapted mine laying, mine laying to destroy the enemy vessels. Mine laying. Okay. Anti Submarine and mine laying warcraft. Okay. Who built this? Andrath. Andrath is built by Garden Reach. Garden Reach Shipbuilders. Garden Reach Shipbuilders. Okay. If you want the full name, Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers. And engineering and engineer and engineering. It's in Kolkata. It's in Kolkata. The International Day of Forest is observed on 21st March every year. The theme for this year is forest and health. See, ideally, one third of the land area should be covered in forest, that it should be forested. But in India, it's about one fifth. One fifth because population exploding, we need dams, we need uh, you know a lot of other industrial equipments which for which uh, forests are being destroyed. It's unfortunate, but that's a true thing. You know, the total forest cover in India today is 21 percent when it should be 33. So, from one third to one fifth, uh, we'll have to bridge this gap quite soon, my friends. For which Asian Asian aid, the International Monetary Fund recently approved a three billion dollar bailout program. We all know it's Sri Lanka. Okay, um, Sri Lanka has not done well, and I think we discussed this story quite comprehensively in the past. Uh, but things are pretty bad as far as uh, Sri Lanka is concerned. Um, see, countries like Sri Lanka are said to be happier than India, 112 rank. But will they be happy if? They are not able to source food, they are not able to source fuel, not able to source medicines. So these kinds of rankings don't work. That's why I said, you know, you should read and try to put them in some context. Now so coming to Sri Lanka, it's um, got a $3 billion package. Today it has just $2.1 billion in its foreign exchange reserves. Its exports are $15 billion, okay. Its imports are about 20 Point seven, so millions make it twenty six. 
26 tries 21 billion dollars my friends so exports again there is a massive trade deficit you know so uh, since we discussed sri lanka coin great detail in the past we'll just touch and go here and sri lanka's total gdp is likely to grow at around uh, this year likely to grow around minus one or something or maybe plus one again subject to a lot of conditions because last year it grew at minus three percent minus three percent okay pakistan is also negotiating for a loan bangladesh is bangladesh is also sitting with imf risk because it's precarious financial conditions yeah of all these conditions the worst conditions are in pakistan my friend they're in pakistan so that's all about it. Have a lot of fun. Stay curious. Enjoy yourself. Thank you.